Okay, in this problem, we are going to solve the 2017 AMC 10A, problem number 24. It says, for certain real numbers, A, B, and C, the polynomial G of X has three distinct roots, and each root of G of X is also a root of the polynomial F of X. What is F of 1? Um, this problem, when you first look at it, has multiple attack points. If you can't use your intuition to find which attack point to use, just take the whatever one you want and start attacking and see what happens with uh, the information um, that you are able to produce. So for me, the first thing that comes to mind for polynomials when it starts talking about roots is the sum and product of the roots. This is known as Vieta's formulas. You can look them up online, or maybe I'll make a video in the future about it. Um, roots, it's common to call them R with a subscript. So we'll have R1, R2, R3, and R4. The first three roots are only roots, and actually they're, they're roots of G of X. I'll add R4, and the four roots will be roots of F of X, because it says each root of G of X is also a root of this polynomial F of X. So we apply Vieta. For cubics, the sum of the roots, R1 plus R2 plus R3, is the negative second coefficient over the first. That is true for all polynomials. It will always be the negative second coefficient over the first for the sum of the roots. Um, for F, then, you would have the same thing, R1 plus R2 plus R3, but you add the additional root that F has, and it will equal negative 1. The product of the roots for the first one, g of x, r1, r2, r3, is the negative constant over the leading coefficient. For cubics, it's negative, so it's negative 10. When you get to quartic, though, it goes back to being positive constant over leading coefficient. r1 times r2 times r3 times r4 will equal c. I can now plug the negative a into the second equation to get negative a plus r4 equals negative 1. This can be solved for r4 equals a minus 1. Um, okay, so then what? We can say that negative 10 gets plugged in here. We will get negative 10 r4 is equal to c and uh, then that's all you can do with that. So when we look at these two new pieces of information that we produced, you might feel like it was a waste of time. Perhaps it was. That's actually normal in problem solving. Uh, these don't, we can't do anything with it. We could plug in a C value into here after we solve for R4, but it doesn't really get us anywhere. That's okay. We go back to a different point of attack now. Maybe these will produce, uh, be useful later in some capacity. The other point of attack that you can do is that you can take g of x, and since all of the roots of g of x are in f of x, g of x will divide f of x. All you have to do is multiply it by the other factor that has the fourth root in it with g of x. So we're going to get x cubed plus ax squared plus x plus 10. You will multiply this to get x to the fourth, distributing the x, plus ax cubed, plus x squared, plus 10x. Then distribute the negative r4. Negative r4x cubed, negative ar4x squared, negative r4x, and then uh, plus, or actually it's minus, 10 times, you just say 10 times negative r4. All right, combining like terms, we get x to the fourth plus a minus r4x cubed plus 1 minus a r4x squared plus 10 minus r4x and finally minus 10 r4. This polynomial must match up with f of x and so we do the comparison game for the coefficients. You'll notice that c is negative 10 r4, which we already found. Okay, so we didn't mess that up. You'll also notice that the sum of the roots is negative a plus r4, which we already knew. Okay, uh, let's compare. If you compare this to 
Over here, you'll get the same thing that a minus r4 is equal to 1, which is equivalent to this. When you solve for b, you will get b equals 1 minus a r4. No help there. This is where the problem breaks open. This is what we were trying to get to. 100 is equal to uh, 10 minus r4. The x matches the x, so the 100 has to equal 10 minus r4. That means r4 is equal to negative 90. We can now go plug it in to C and to solve for C and A. C will equal 900. Negative 90 plus 1 A equals negative 89. We're on a roll. We just keep going. We get B. B is equal to 1 minus A. A is negative 89 and R4 is negative 90. Multiplying these two, 90 squared is 8,100, so 89 times 90 will be 90 less than that, or 8,010. There's three negative signs, so it becomes 1 minus 8,010, which is equal to negative 8,009. Now we're just going to go plug in to f of x. Everything we learned, it's x to the fourth plus x cubed. b is negative 8,009x squared um, plus 100x plus c, and c is 900. We are now ready to answer the question, what is f of 1? f of 1 for all functions is going to be the sum of the coefficients. Here we have 100 and 900. That's 1,000. We combine it to get negative 7,009. We add the two coefficients here, which is 2. That gives us answer choice C negative 7,007.